And now let's consider the Dutch rule approximation. This mode is analogous to the short period in the longitudinal dynamics, and that it's mainly a relatively fast rotation without any change in the direction of travel. But while the short period was a pitching motion, so a rotation about the y-body axis, the Dutch roll is a yaw motion, a rotation about the z-body axis. So I'll try to illustrate that here. Y e. Sometime later, the plane will actually be lined up with the direction of travel. Sometime later, it'll be turned the other way. And eventually we'll come back to the flight direction again. Now, in reality, the Dutch roll is more complicated and involves significant roll motion. Um, that roll resembles the motion of a Dutch, I guess, speed skater, like, um, which is where the name comes from, apparently. The actual um, movement can be difficult to visualize. So I'm going to try to put a link up on the course website for a video showing an aircraft undergoing significant Dutch roll, and this will also be shown in class. Simplification, however, is still useful, so we're going to proceed as follows. So we take delta v equal minus u naught delta psi. So we're neglecting any roll accelerations. And this yields the 2 by 2 system governing the Dutch roll dynamics as delta v dot delta r dot equals y v y r minus u naught n v n r times delta v delta r. So this system then has uh, eigenvalues sigma delta uh, Dutch roll plus minus I omega Dutch roll. Where sigma Dutch roll is approximately given by nr uh, nr plus yv which can be expressed as QSB squared over 2IZ U naught times CNR plus IZ over M B squared CY beta and omega such rule squared is approximately U naught and V plus yv and r minus nv yr. And this can be approximately expressed as qsb over iz times c and beta plus rho sb over 4m times c y beta c and r minus c n beta c y r so this simplification neglects some important effects for example a large dihedral reduces the actual dutch roll damping and can render it unstable but since c l beta does not appear in this, these approximate expressions, that effect isn't captured. 
Now, if we computed the eigenvalues of the full 4x4 system, that effect is indeed captured. The side force derivatives, the derivatives with respect to beta, um, are estimated using a force analysis on the vertical tail. So we take C y beta is negative S v over S times C l alpha of the vertical tail and C y r is negative 2 times the vertical tail volume coefficient times C l alpha of the vertical tail. Two more derivatives don't appear in the simplified approximations but are needed if we wanted to solve the full 4x4 four four system. C and P is negative CL naught over 8. And this comes from lifting line analysis. And also CYP. But this, finding an expression for CYP, is going to be left as an exercise for you to come up with a simple model uh, that, for how you can express CYP. So we'll talk about that more in class. That concludes the section of the course on introductory uh, flight dynamics. With what we've covered here, you can analytically approximate all of the flight dynamic modes for a traditional uh, fixed-wing aircraft.